Morgan Knoll here with Transwise Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you a new inventory trailer that just arrived. As you can tell, the last few days we've been having, you know, videos on these specific units because we got a few of them in. But it's a 2024 Logan Coach Bullseye. And this one's a three horse gooseneck with the closet tack on it. So we'll go ahead and show you guys what this trailer is all about. We'll start right here. We've got our adjustable coupler. So this moves up and down and that way we can make sure you're riding as level as possible on that tow vehicle. Last thing you wanna do is stress one axle over the other. So being able to adjust this to ride that level ride height um, just comes in handy big time. And then you got your safety chains, battery breakaway cable there. And then I currently have it plugged in to our battery pack. That way you can see how the lights operate on it. So in order to get exterior and interior lights working on this one, you will have to be plugged in either to your pickup or we could add an external battery source, whether that's a battery box out on the outside or if we wire one in into that front um, dressing room area. So right now we've got the manual crank jack. We can easily get upgraded to the hydraulic jack here in our service department too. And then over on that left-hand side, you've got your full-size spare tire. So as you're looking at this trailer, you will notice it's a white exterior. So it goes really well. Color combo matches with a lot of different pickup colors and just, you know, aesthetic looks and everything. So this is a closet tack. And what I mean by closet tack is you have your separate tack room and then your dressing room up front. These setups are very handy if you go to a lot of day shows and you've got time to kill. A lot of customers like to, you know, hang out in this front part. Some will put an AC unit in there. There's just a lot of different options that you can do just having that separation, keep the smelly, sweaty horse stuff away from the area where you hang out. So we'll pop up in here first, right away on that door, you'll notice a window. So you can get that window opened up. You can get some airflow going through this area too. And then coming up in here, right away over the gooseneck, you'll just notice additional storage space. You get a bunch of stuff up there. That's where I personally, I store a lot of my um, tubs and totes that I have full of tack that I apparently don't use because it's just stored in them. But <laughs> able to store them up here, you've got windows on each side so you can get some airflow going. And then you do have an LED light up in that gooseneck nose so you are able to see. Another LED light up above me right here. And then I'm gonna swap real quick with Jody over in this corner. So this wall right here is where your closet tack is. And then that's gonna give you this corner to utilize however you wanna utilize it. So we can add additional bridle hooks in here. You can think about doing a shelf. I've seen some customers that will do just a tension rod going across and then they can hang show clothes, they can hang polo wraps and stuff like that. So there's just a lot of different options that you can do just having that, that extra space right there. And then coming out here to the closet tack, you've got your three tier swing out saddle rack. These are adjustable and we can add additional too. So if you've got more than one, or I guess three saddles, one saddle per horse, we can get you an additional one to add on to here too. And then with them being adjustable, if you've got a saddle with a bigger horn, um, just a bigger saddle in general, you can get these moved up and down and that way it's sitting on there comfortably. Over here on the door, we've got our swing out blanket pull. So this is gonna unhook and then open up. And that just makes it a lot easier to lay your blankets on, grab one from the middle and just the ease of use with having it being able to swing in and out and then clip to the side. And then down below on this door, we've got a brush box. So that brush box, I personally keep all my stuff I use often in there. So brushes, fly sprays, hoof picks, lim liniment, all that stuff that I'm grabbing consistently, I will keep right there in the brush box. And that way I'm not having to fiddle through a bunch of stuff in the tack room and, and find what I need. And then once you get up there in the tack room, you'll see all your bridle hooks on, on the walls with the carpet down below. So having that carpet down below is just gonna help alleviate some of that swishing and swaying that bridles will do while in transit. And in turn, keep your trailer in good condition and then keep your bridles in good condition as well. And then over here in the corner behind the saddle rack, very good use of space because that's just kind of a dead corner. 
We put a water tank in there. So that's a 35 gallon water tank, able to bring some water from home. You know, if you've got finicky horses that don't like drinking water on the road because it's different tastes and whatnot, you can bring some from home, mix it in with the new stuff and at least get, get them to continue to drink. You know, we want to keep our horses hydrated and everything. So having that opportunity to bring water with you for that reason, you're going up to the mountains and you, you want to bring water just in case you can't find a good water source. You can have some on you. Um, just in general, when you're in transit, you probably want to keep some water in case something does happen and you're sitting waiting for help to come. Up above both those doors, you will see an LED light. So each one is operated from light switch. The right hand one in the dressing room is going to be operated from light switch in there. And then the one on the tack room door is going to be operated from light switch in there. And then you do have an LED light in that tack room as well above the door there. So coming over here to the hip side of the trailer, we've got one an LED light up above. So exterior lights, I'm telling you, they come in handy big time. When you are trying to tack or untack and it's dark outside, you get done late at a show or at a barrel race or roping or anything, you're able to tack and untack with a lot more ease just having lights on the exterior of this trailer. Then we've got our three bus windows. So these open up part way. You get them unlocked from the inside. You're able to open and close them from the outside without having to get over horses and get over top of them and stuff. And that way you can pick and choose how much airflow you want going through this trailer. Then you got three ties. And then down below, we've got two 6,000 pound Dexter torsion axles with our 16 inch aluminum wheel. So Logan Coach trailers, they are a galvanized steel frame, aluminum sheeting combo. Having that galvanized steel frame, you're gonna have that strength and durability of just the steel in general. And then having the aluminum sheeting combo just helps lighten it up and keep this trailer overall lighter than an all steel trailer. So on the rear, you've got your 50-50 door opening. So big back opening, especially for you, you guys with those horses that are younger, still learning how to load into trailers comfortably, being able to open both these up and just make this more open and inviting for them to get in. This comes in handy big time. We currently do not have a rear ramp on this, but if that's something you or your horse are wanting and needing, we can easily get it stalled here in our service department. Up above, you got an LED light. And then down underneath these floor mats, you've got your wood planked flooring that is covered in Logan's Vortex coating. And that Vortex coating, you'll see it on the sidewalls and stuff too, but that's kind of like rhino lining where it's gonna help resist that water from getting into the stuff. And then it's gonna help with strength and durability too. And you'll see right here, we've got some water that's just sitting on there. So that's just gonna evaporate. That's not gonna sit and seep into that wood and give that wood the opportunity to, to, to warp away faster. So these wood floors are gonna last for quite, quite some time, that's for sure. And then having the rubber mat over top, you can easily get some shavings in here and they're not gonna be flying down below the floor. So popping up, up here into the stall area, you've got three LED lights on that right hand side. And then you've got your two dividers. So this first divider is gonna be a full length divider but then the second one, you'll notice right here, it is gonna be a telescoping divider. So first off, you'll, you'll see that you are still able to get this back door closed with having this divider over to the side. And then you just pop it out and into place. So if we weren't to do that telescoping divider, this divider would be in the way and that could potentially be an issue if a horse catches a hip, catches its shoulder on it, you know, stuff like that we don't want to happen. So being able to telescope that in and out of the way is a really nice feature on this trailer. And then with these dividers, you've got the pads on both sides. And so having pads for one, comfort up the horse. And for two, it's gonna help with the, um, you know, the discoloration some horses will get while in transit. They'll be rubbing against this aluminum. They'll come off with the stained hip. So that's gonna help from some of that from, from happening too. And then you just push it into place and make sure it's latched. Up above each stall, we do have a roof vent. So those roof vents, they push forward and they push backward. And so pushing them forward, they're gonna help draw that air in. 
push them back, they'll help draw that air back out and just keep that overall airflow going over the horse's heads and backs. So Logan Coach trailers, they will come with an eight year structural warranty, two year hitch to bumper. So fantastic warranties on them as well. So you'll probably notice this 2024 model, they did make a few upgrades, a few changes. You're getting the extruded aluminum sides. You're getting just a little a bit different of a look, but still the fantastic build quality of the Logan trailers. LED light up above on this side. And then you've got your drop downs on each stall. So having these drop downs, for one, they drop down obviously like this. They're gonna pop into place, so they're not gonna be sitting there slapping against the trailer while you're driving. You've got the bus window that you can open up and you can get that open so you can get some partial airflow into the trailer if you're wanting instead of the full airflow. And then I really like how they've got their, their handles here. So the latch is up there, but having this bar here, you're able to grab and just pull straight down and able to get that open with ease. And the other thing I really like about having this latch right here, you know, I'm, I'm pretty tall, so I'm 5'9", and so people that are shorter than me, they're gonna be able to grab this down lower and still be able to get this window open with ease instead of having to climb up and, you know, reach up higher and stuff. And then you do have the capability and option to bring these jail bars down. So if you wanna get that opened up, you can do so. You can offer some more feed, offer some water, whatever you need to do, check on horses. You're just able to do so a little bit easier. And then these windows, they also come with this mesh sheet. So having that mesh, that's gonna prevent some debris from getting into the horses. You know, rocks and bugs, when you're going 65, 70 miles an hour, Rocks and bugs hurt. Um, they they hit you pretty hard, and they're going to leave a leave a mark. So having that there is going to help prevent from some of that prevent some of that from happening. And then you got three more ties. So this trailer we are sitting at seven feet tall. We're sitting at six feet nine inches wide, and then we have an on the floor length of eighteen feet three inches. So stock number that we've got on this trailer is going to be 5N231065, and that's 5N231065. It's a 2024 Logan Coach Bullseye three horse gooseneck. If you click the link below, it'll take you to this trailer on our website and you can view it there. And then you can view some other inventory items that we have. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me via text or call to my cell phone, and that's at 970-218-5996. You can call my desk phone at 303-684-3451, or shoot me an email to Morgan, that's M-O-R-G-A-N dot Noll, K-N-O-L-L, -L, at transwest.com. I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business, and I hope you have a great day.